What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So uh, there's a couple of people that are skeptical about uh, even focusing on burns right now because we see what Binance has done per week. And now, from what I understand, they're moving to burning per month. So actually seeing the amount of not volume, but popularity decrease in the fact that we're burning less, not saying we're burning less coins, but we're focusing on burning less as they're looking at months and then maybe they'll push it out to quarters and then maybe they'll push it out to years on what they are burning. Um, that's not something that we want to see because with less burning that's going through, that means less hype videos, less people that are talking about it, less popularity for the overall position and people forget about burns entirely. And then Binance says, you know what, I'm not going to do it anymore. So with that being said, I wanted to take you through kind of like what this overall thing that I wanted to do, um, how much that will help out more than what Binance is doing right now. And it's great that Binance is doing something, but honestly, the fact that they're burning off 1 billion a week, um, if we get to 52 weeks, we're looking at 52 billion a year. Is that gonna make a difference when it comes to the overall amount that's there and what the price will be? No, it will not. So we need to find uh, another way to add more burns to this and transaction based burns should be the largest burns that we have because the most volume flows through transactions. However, they're finding ways to go around that. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter. That's where a lot of these things are going out. We're trying to reach to uh, reach out to all of these exchanges and get them to kind of con uh, confirm that we are, um, that they are going to burn or they are going to implement this burn um, by the given date. So yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with what I put out, I, I did make a, a Word document and I put out a tweet talking about this. Basically the, the idea is that um, we want to get all of these exchanges to agree that they will implement the 0.2% burn tax. Now, just because they agree to implementing it doesn't mean that they will actually implement it. Now, <clears throat> note, uh, this will only hold true if the top 20 exchanges sorted by volume collectively agree. The top 20 exchanges being 99.5% of the volume. So obviously, we want to see as much volume um, that goes through here and as as many exchanges or as many top exchanges as possible to agree upon this. <clears throat> but I can tell you, some people are skeptical and they're saying, Binance is already burning. Why would Binance do a burn? I don't know if those people are blind or just don't understand what's going on with Binance, but Binance has an option to where you don't have to pay any fees. Right now they're doing a fee burn, not a tax burn. A tax burn would be on any transaction that happens, not just based on if you are paying a fee or not paying a fee. If you're a VIP member, you go through Binance Convert, you're not paying any fees, so you're seeing probably 5% of the volume actually be taxed, and that's a small amount where we're looking at only a billion <clears throat> that ends up getting burned over a week. So then we look at and we extrapolate that out for a year and we're only going to see 50 billion um, to however many billion that we can burn um, <laughs> in a year. And I'm laughing because it's not going to make much of a difference. You know, you can look at 7 trillion and you can burn off 50 billion and what is that going to do? It's not going to do anything. So that's why we need to understand, well, what my idea will do Will it burn off everything? Um, no, it will not burn off every single bit of the supply. We expect to see uh, communities that are doing that as well, but it does have the opportunity to burn off majority of it, maybe 70 to 80%, maybe even 90%. And then you're looking at the last 10% that can be burned off by the community and different utility that's built. So <clears throat> let me go into the spreadsheet here and um, don't mind all of this. If you guys want this spreadsheet, that link is in my Patreon. Um, you can ask me for it and I can give it to you. But basically, <clears throat> let me take this out. Basically, uh, I just talked about how it would be, you know, 50 to 60 billion that we're burning off with this whole Binance burn that's happening right now. But if we start to look at this where all the volume right now, we see about 200 uh, million uh, dollars in volume. I don't know why that's coming up like that. We see $200 million in volume, right? So let me go ahead and put that or I'll put dollars. $200 million in volume that happens. Now, if we're taking a certain portion of that where we're only taking 0.2%, uh, come on, man. 
Why does it keep coming up like this? I have a macro set up, I guess. All right, so let's go into a different spreadsheet because for some reason I'm having a problem with the other spreadsheet. So I'm going to take 200 uh, million, right? $200 million. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to multiply it by the 0.2%, right? <clears throat> multiplying it by, come on, why is it not multiplying? Because I didn't put multiply. Multiply it by the 0.2%. I'm all over the place right now, would be $400,000. $400,000 right now, uh, if we take that $400,000 um, divided by 0 0.00023, I think that's where we're at, uh, would be 1.7 billion. And if we look at it over a year, we would multiply that by 365. <clears throat> we would see the 600 and uh, 634 billion that we burn off per year. That's way better than looking at, you know, 50 or 60 billion that we can burn off in that year. Now, if we're looking at that multiplied by 10, you can obviously do a uh, quick math and it will be 6.3 trillion. So we'll burn off majority of it if we're looking at $200 million in volume. Understand that we're seeing 200 million as a low level, right? So if we can get everybody on board and see the movement as time goes on and see this at a level uh, a lot higher, right? 500 uh, million would be way more. We would be looking at 4 billion per day or 1.5 trillion per year. That's what we need to see. I would love to see that. And within uh, a couple of years, maybe, um, you know, five years, maybe four years, <clears throat> we would be looking at 6.3 trillion. Um, and that's good, right? If it happens in four years, it happens in five years, we're, we're perfectly fine with that. But the point is, is that we're not given the option or the opportunity to do so because transactions are not giving us enough, right? These transactions that are going through Binance, um, it's all kind of a ploy to bring more people into their platform. And I think, like CZ has said in the past, if we collectively get everybody to agree that the 1.2 or 0.2% will be implemented, then we can easily um, have this affect the overall price, the overall supply, and get us back to a level to where we're seeing dollars instead of seeing fractions of pennies, right? Um, we can see a penny right now, and if we wanted to see a penny, it would be $60 billion market cap. And that's really high for just focusing on getting to a penny, which we can do with utility. I would, I would definitely agree that we can do with utility, but I think there's way more <clears throat> that people need to see here. There's a bigger picture. So again, I will provide the link to this post uh, down below. If you guys want to go ahead and share it, you guys want to, um, you know, copy this and, you know, put your own post, it doesn't matter, but let's get them to agree and let's find the posts so that we can take all of those posts and link them to this uh, Word document so we know that the top 20 exchanges will agree on it. Who will be the first of the top 20 exchanges to agree on something like that? I don't know, but um, I hope that we see a lot that come in very, very quickly so that we can get this implemented in the new year um, because this could literally change everything for Lunic and then also focusing on utility could change uh, the, the dynamic of uh, Lunic as well. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.